So let's see the IQ system in action. All right, I'm Mark. What we're gonna do is we're gonna do a normal 90 degree angle deck. It means the joists are running perpendicular to the decking here. We've got our IQ fastener. We're gonna pull the board close enough where we can see the previous clip. Align one clip right up against that, and then you're drawing a visual line. Again, all this is without measurement, straight to the back of the board. And then you've got three holes again. The center one is the only one you really have to worry about when you're doing this installation. Center hole, eyeball it, install the clip. Same thing with your back clip. Now remember, it's all eyeball. You've got three-eighths of an inch either way as far as play. So you don't have to be dead on, but obviously you want to be as accurate as possible. We're going to install all these clips straight on down either side of the board. Uh, Rick's going to help me on that. I'm going to carry up this end. It's easier sometimes to place all of your clips and then run your screws. If you've got a crew, obviously somebody can be ahead of the game placing the clips. And another one can follow right behind and place all the screws. Pretty easy. Remember, again, you're putting the clip on the bottom side of the board because, of course, you're going to flip it and it's going to be face up at that point. Remember always to get it tight up against the edge of the board before you start drilling. And you don't want to overdrive the screw, so if you have to, set the clutch setting and just bring it until it clicks or just bring it flush to the bottom of that clip. All right, now we've already got all of our clips in place. We've clipped it. Now we're going to flip it. Turn the board over, push it together, a nice light tap, brings it nice in line. What we're going to do now is take our two and a quarter inch screw and at a 45 degree angle that's already preset into the clip, we're going to draw the board nice and tight. We're going to continue on, catch all the boards. If there's a bow or a warp, that's going to bring it all together. All right, so we finished the deck, and now just wanted to show you again. When you're putting these clips in place, there's plenty of play. So you, if you're off by about three-eighths of an inch either direction, three-quarters of an inch overall, nothing to worry about. They'll clip right in place. Just another tip here, as far as if you're a production crew, two, three people on the job, and you just want to keep things moving fast, you're doing a visual lining up of the clips. Here's a way you can do it with a speed square. Put the boards close enough together. Run your speed square right along until you hit the previous clip. Score a line. Keep doing that. And one guy can come in right behind and putting the clips in place. Show you how that goes. Basically lining the edges up right to that line. Takes no time at all. Just a little quick tip. One of the added benefits to having a deck clip like this is you have a quarter of an inch of gap between the bottom surface of the deck board and the top of the joist system. What that allows is for better air ventilation throughout and also if you have a lot of blocking, unusual connections below the deck, there's no impediment because everything sits on the surface of the joist.